He's from it always. All right, then. Let's get this started now. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. And I'm your host, Brother Talik Ibiwa. Got to get straight into the subject as usual because, you know, our time runs out so quickly. The subject of this video is that some people call Rastafarad Muhammad a fraud, a fake. Rastafarad Muhammad was the teacher of the last messenger of Allah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. If you do a search on Master Farah Muhammad, or rather you can just go straight to uh, Wikipedia, I think that's what they call it, the Internet Encyclopedia, and look up Master Farah Muhammad, you'll see this history of Master Farah Muhammad, or Wallace God, however they have him uh, described. Within that, they said that Master Farah Muhammad used to be a criminal. They don't know where he came from. The nation teaches that he came from Mecca or Arabia. He was a light-skinned Arab, his parents being uh, black and one being white, his, his, his uh, mother, all these different things. Now, I will tell you, in religion, when we're dealing with religion, religion can take almost anybody or anything and make it something to worship. Now, Master Farah Muhammad might be considered a fraud, a fake, but I'll tell you something that Master Farah Muhammad is. He was, no matter if he was in prison or whatever they want to call him. You cannot take away his influence and his effect on black people in America. That you cannot do. Because he raised up out of these people calling themselves uh, Negroes that were called shines and coons, nothing upon the planet. He raised within that, uh, the United States, from these dead people, men like Elijah Muhammad, and through Elijah Muhammad came Malcolm and Farrakhan and all those brothers and sisters, known and unknown. In fact, Master Farah Muhammad is the reason why you're watching me today, because of the power of Master Farah Muhammad. So it don't make no difference what he was or how he came into being. His influence and his effect remains today, years after he left from among us. I tell you this about Master Farah Muhammad. Master Farah Muhammad, this is a fact, never taught black men to kill one another. And some of y'all who claim to be followers of Elijah Muhammad, or a child or a faction from Elijah Muhammad whose father, whose teacher was Master Farah Muhammad. So when you decide to think about murder of a black man, killing another black man, then you are opposite of what Master Farah Muhammad came to us. Because Master Farah Muhammad came to save the black man and woman in America. He said, if I can only get one, it was worth the effort. So now, under his influence, he has created thousands. But in some of the thousands, some of y'all want to kill black men. So you're not, you're not following behind, and you're not worshiping, and you don't view Master Farah Muhammad as your God because he came to kill black men and women's life, not to take their lives. Master Farah Muhammad, I don't remember any documentation where he said that he was God, that was something Elijah Muhammad said. And even with 
within the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, he gave us the actual facts. And the actual facts is the, the earth uh, revolved at 1,037 and a third mile per hour and all those different things and the, the height of the mountains and all these different things. He gave that to us as actual facts. But on the back of the Muhammad speech, he wrote, what the Muslims believe. He said, we believe that Allah came to us in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. That's something we believe. If it was a fact, he would have put it with the actual facts, but he didn't. He said, we believe. He believed that the man he had been talking to was God. This is not something that Master Farah Muhammad, and some of y'all in 2009 have made Minister Louis Farrakhan a regular man, a brother, made him some kind of prophet. Made him put him into the same type of category. This is where we mess up. We become fanatics. Instead of being appreciative of somebody coming to us with the message of helping us in our lives, we make gods out of them and prophets. I don't think Jesus of the Bible would appreciate it either. He just wanted better things for the people. He was not for you to worship and sing to and praise. This is where we mess up very seriously. But that's how it is in religion. Then because this man or this woman don't believe who you have made a God out of, you, don't, you get angry at them because they don't want to uh, refuse to accept this person that you, this idol that you made as a God. Then you want to get angry at them and you believe that all who don't believe as you do are wrong or they should be murdered and killed. You have become sick in your mind. And that's a terrible thing. And that's something that Jesus did not stand for. Because Jesus came to bring us life. And it says in the Bible, and to bring us life more abundantly, he was not a murderer or a killer. So for all of you who talk about I'm a Christian and you are uh, have murdered and you plan on killing somebody, then you're not following Jesus. And those who are Muslims and those who are have been influenced by Master Farah Muhammad, then you thinking about murdering and hurting other black people, then you're not no Muslim and you're not a follower. Uh, you don't believe that Master Farah Muhammad came to you and he is God because Master Farah Muhammad don't represent murder of black people. He represents bringing us life and life more abundantly. Just like Jesus Christ. Y'all are lost. You need to get back on the right path. You're on the wrong destructive path. You'll never be successful taking the way that you do. If somebody you disagree with, just let them be. Do what you got to do. Show your righteousness. Stand up and be who you are. There's no need for arguing and debating and all like that. Let your work speak for itself. And that's your problem is, your work is weak. This is your brother, Charlie Kevin Ron. This was and is. All praises to do to, for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, for Master Farah Muhammad. No doubt. Without them, I couldn't exist. Peace, love, and always. Till next time, y'all.